Here's Sagittarius. Sagittarius 2018. Sagittarius. October 18, I mean, October 2018. Well, maybe that's like a date that you might want to watch out for, October 18th, since it just came out of my mouth. Past energy. Present energy. Future energy. And at the bottom of the deck, the King of Wands. I like the King of Wands. All right, let's see here, Sagittarius. In the past, there was a faded event that occurred or something that you felt was faded, like a faded event. The wheel of fortune turned. Something happened. Um, in the past, I also see you or somebody else letting go of a lot of burdens and just say, fuck it, let's just do this. Uh kind of energy. This is what I'm seeing. I'm sorry if you guys don't like me swearing, but that's how I talk. Also in the past, I see a player. Fire sign could be Leo, Aries, or um, Sagittarius like yourself, or this could be you, just kind of going in and out and doing whatever you want. Very charming person. Love fire sign. All right. In the present, I seen the Knight of Swords, so maybe you or somebody else is refusing to move forward with something or they're telling you a harsh truth or you're telling them a harsh truth and you just don't even care how they feel you're just going in like whatever you know like a night would he's coming in he's just taking names man fuck you mean all right and then uh now in the present you got um, you're you're coming out of some kind of reclusion. You sat there and thought about it. You're coming out of it. You're telling the truth. You're seeing through the bullshit. Ace of Swords. In the future again. Before I, I kind of do this fast. So, um, before I seem like I'm talking about this person or that person, the energies go back and forth. So it's just take it how you. How it resonates with you. How you feel. Alright. Just follow what your emotions are telling you. In the future you have the page of swords in reverse. Even more. Weird communication. Or kind of like a stalker energy. Could be an air sign stalking you. Or you're stalking them. Or gossip. Something like that. Uh, also in the future you have the high priestess of reverse. Somebody in the situation is not following their intuition. Somebody in this situation might be using their intuition for, like, to manipulate uh, or something like that. Last card in the future, you've got the King of Pentacles, a slow-moving offer from somebody. Maybe an earth sign. Or maybe this is the person that you're, this is all about. Uh, earth sign, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. The bottom of the deck, you have the King of Wands. Um, I'm going to actually clarify the King of Wands because I am not sure why that's there. Uh, the King of Wands is a fire person, but I'm not sure. So clarify King of Wands for the outcome judgment. Okay. Uh, pretty much you've made a decision about the situation and you're going to move on. What are you moving on towards? Some sort of air sign or some sort of truth. The Queen of Swords. Or you're done with the bullshit. Fuck this. I'm cutting everybody's head off. That's energy. All right, Sagittarius. So I'm going to pull out three cards for you from the Oracle deck for general advice. Athena, you know what to do. Trust your inner wisdom and take appropriate action without delay, which makes sense because the high priestess is here in reverse. So follow your intuition. Sorceress, you are a magical person who can manifest your clear intentions into reality. This also follows the high priestess. You can make your own reality happen. It's all about your head. It's all in your head. One more. Focus intention. Keep your unwavering thoughts, feelings, and actions Focus on your target and you will make your mark. Once again, go ahead. Manifest, Sagittarius.
All right, so that's it for uh, Sad Series October 2018. You need a private reading, you email me, hit like, subscribe, all that. All right, bye.